Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to link your source tree with your GitHub account. So you can see here we have a repository already added into source tree and it's just a demo repository which is a private repo so if I go back to source tree here and go into settings you can see we've verified that this path is correct and of course it's a generic account with the github account settings so if I hit OK and I go to right click and fetch from the remote repository we do get this prompt now we won't be able to use this anymore and source tree kind of have to update this and that's because github have completely abolished the method of logging in with your username and password credentials now i'll just verify this just by simply trying to log in with my username and password which is definitely correct and if i hit enter you can see we get a failure on credentials basically. Now if I close this, all we need to do is head over to tools, options. First we'll just check that our source tree is up to date. And you can see it is there as of this video. And if we head over to authentication, click add, select GitHub, HTTPS, you can use SSH if you like. And make sure you select OAuth. Now before we refresh the OAuth token, you can see we cannot select a username, but just make sure that your default browser is logged in to your GitHub account that you would like to link with your source tree. So now if I hit refresh, you can see it opened up here, and when I come back here, it says authentication, okay. Uh, I'll just do that one more time. What happens is it checks, as you can see, it it did there and then it shows this and now we can hit OK and you can see it's added it in and all of these as well you might start to see some new github related credentials that are entered into your list now don't delete any of these so if we hit OK right click fetch you can see everything works successfully. Now this method was made mandatory, I think as of the 13th of August, 2021. So you can no longer sign in with your username and password. You either have to go through OAuth or you have to use a token. Now with source tree, it's a bit finicky when it comes to tokens. So I extremely recommend you keep it to using OAuth. However, I'll show you, well, I'll quickly show you how to generate a token. So we'll close these and if we head over to settings and we go to developer settings, personal tokens and generate a token. So just call this demo. You can set your expiration now. Of course, I'll be deleting this and then we just generate a token, copy this, make sure you save it somewhere because when you refresh, it's going to be gone. However, you can still go back in regenerate a new token with a new expiration if you like and the token method is something that you would use you know when let's say you're going to log in through your terminal so you can start using it that way because sometimes with command prompt when you want to clone you know you can see here github clone uh, what you can simply do is just put in your username. Actually, you know, let me clear all of this. That's what I was trying to do before. So we'll bring this up one more time. So we have GitHub clone, and we also have that uh, repo. So what you could do is put in your username. In my case, this is mine. And then hit colon, paste your token in. And just at the end here, you can see GitHub, you want to put an at symbol. And that is a way that you can basically clone. Now you can see this did not work, not found. And that is simply because if we go back here, I never selected a scope. 
Now for me personally, I usually just select repo and then update this token. And if we head back over, I'll bring this command one more time. Clone, you can see it's cloning and you know, we've cloned an empty repository. If I do a DIR, you can see we have this repo that's been cloned, you can CD into it. And there we have it. But yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, I hope it helped you out. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.